Hmm, who could that be? Grandfather, it's Gart. Can I come in? Oh, yes, of course. Proceed. <laughs> Having a bit of a nightmare, son? <laughs> nightmare? Of course not. Your light was on, and apparently I have a lot to learn from your stories. <laughs> well, come on in. Take a seat. <sighs> now, where was I? Ah, uh, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. From what I could pass, it was now my responsibility to feed whatever was behind that door. Better, but still not at full health. Short weeds had gathered at the bottom of some sort of goblin ladder. It would take two to open that door. I would need to find an escape companion. They kept slipping through my fingers. I needed to find some other way to catch a fly. There were more mattresses there than people in Daventry. I wondered where they got them all. Thank you. 
I knew fairy tales were unlikely to come true. However, sometimes you can't find a romantic heart. That goblin so desperately wanted to find its prince. Come here, you. Oh, froggy, froggy, froggy. <laughs> oh, froggy, froggy, froggy. Oh, 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 oh. You <laughs> eyes of flies. Huh? I thought you said you felt better. The eye of a fly. Don't you see? That's the missing ingredient. A uh, potion? Are you... Are you... are you... Is it for teleportation at random? Does it summon a storm that follows you? Will it make you transform into a cat? <laughs> Apologies. Been working on that. Cat, will this potion make you turn into a clawed feline? Oh, it's nothing special. Just weed killer. We think we can rot away these roots to escape. Bring us the eye of a fly, boy, and keep up with the treats. Hmm. Yeah, I would have taken the other path. Is this story about your choices or mine? I think he's doing a great job. I don't know.
All right, stand back. Be gone, weeds. Dag Babbitt, did I say eye of a fly? I meant flying eyes. Well, I always get those two mixed up. Oh, Muriel. <laughs> hey, I'm sick of you. How can a whole horde of creatures be so dumb? Who raised you? Oh, your species is capable of deeper thoughts. And that's a fact. That's it. I'm at my wits' end with these little sadists. We're taking them out. Oh, Muriel. Brute force? Let's think this through. No, my mind is made up. We're building a bone bomb. It's the smartest thing we can do. All right, Muriel. We will need some boom powder. Here's the recipe. Okay. What is that, guard? Oh, nothing. We should go back to Tanalore when we get out of here. Wouldn't that be nice, Chester? What? Oh, that was the place with those serpent-skin-wrapped frog dogs, right? Yes, it was. Oh, oh my heart belongs in Tanalore. Still not tall enough to climb yet. I should check back tomorrow. Welcome to commissary. I <gasps> well, if it isn't. <laughs> Boy, what a sight for sore eyes you are. <laughs> I was on my rescue mission and got caught up by these flying rocks. Even these shorts weren't able to outrun those barbarians. Between the two of us, these rockheads can't understand a quality deal the way you can. Speaking of which, in honor of your apparent aristocratic acquisition, I am prepared to offer a free item for today only. Better yet, I'll discount some previously undercounted prices. Now, I'm sure that crown came with some moolah. Let's make a deal, baby. You won't regret it. So, where's my free item? <laughs> of course. Jamba. How's business treating you? It's quite hard to find rare and miraculous ingredients in this cell, but I make and do. So, I just have to ask, why do you pretend your goats are unicorns? Pretend, my boy! Pretend! They are actual bona fide actual unicorns, not goats! Okay, you caught me. They're goats, but don't say that too loudly or they'll be bridge treats. Can I see the merchandise? Ooh, stay back. Don't want to disturb it. Never disturb perfection. This little baby is a cure-all, a pick-me-up when you're feeling down, a mixin' for fixin' everything from your jowls to your bowels. How much? One shiny gold coin. A comeback when you have more money. I can tell by the distinct lack of jingle in your pocket. Metal eating sticks from my trip to the Orient. Rare, exotic, moderately priced. How much? One shiny gold coin. Eh, come and see me when your pockets are full of more riches. The last bowl of porridge, spruced up with bran berries. Did you know this super fruit packs two whole days of nutrition into just one serving? How much? Two shiny gold coins. Boy, you just don't have enough. Goodbye. Pasta la vista, you meatball.
wasn't going to let myself be stopped by a door. I had bested many difficult quests, but I might need a key. Contraband is frowned upon. I'll need to hide this. Good work. Not too shabby. Could use a few more strategically placed barbs, but who am I to complain? All right, Graham. Stand back. Which one you want me to take out first? That one. Take that. <laughs> Come here, you little pile of gravel. Reach your hand in here so I can cut it off. I went to bed with a heavy heart. Everyone was relying on me, and I knew I was going to have to make some hard choices. That morning, stale smell hung in the air. I knew Bramble and Mr. Fancy Case couldn't hold on another day without medicine. <laughs> I was fully restored and started to feel like myself again. I still can't believe Gwendolyn beat me in the tournament with those stupid eggs. Yes, well, she was quite egg extraordinary. Guys, I'm right here.
I couldn't help but be afraid. The survival of the prisoners was solely up to me. The last time I faced something like this, it didn't end well. the goods. Ooh, stay back. Don't want to disturb it. Never disturb perfection. This little baby is a cure-all. A pick-me-up when you're feeling down. I'm mixing for fixing everything from your jowls to your bowels. How much? One shiny gold coin. Are you interested? I'll take it. You got yourself a deal. I have procured the only bottle of medicine in that prison. But who should I give it to? Goodbye. Golden tag. Grandfather, 
Do you have any snacks in here? Pay attention, guard. You said you wanted to learn. I should check back tomorrow. Sometimes there is no right answer, but that doesn't mean there's a wrong one either. Mr. Fancy Cakes was hard-headed, but I never expected he could do this. You had Mr. Fancy Cakes in your cake? How is this battle not already won? I 
an adventurer. I was great at taking quests. As a king, I struggled at giving orders. What if I made the wrong choice? What if I led the kingdom astray? What if I lost another friend to that dragon? I could have saved Bramble. What was I thinking? 